Hey guys, Jan here, the Northview Model Shop. Um, this is a little response to the Dr. Cranky video was done a while back about uh, his top 10 favorite builds. And I couldn't really narrow mine down to, to my 10 favorite. So instead of just going through like 1 through 10, I'm just going to go through some of my favorite builds here. Talk about them really quick and uh, that'll be it. So here we go. Uh, here we have that Night Kit Styrene car. Uh, it's pretty well at the point where the body needs to be buffed as the update video had stated, so nothing really special with this one. Uh, it, the kit went together quite well, so I'm impressed with it. Uh, here's a Ford Tri Motor. This was done over, uh, this was done over like a ho Christmas holiday, not that long ago, the last season maybe. Very nicely. Uh, it's a 177th scale, it's a weird scale number for being a special one from Revell. Here's a, a Tamman um, F4, F4U Corsair, very nice kit. You know, this came together really well for me. And it's a little dusty right now, but it, it was probably my favorite. It's the cleanest one of the planes I've probably done. This is the 172 P, was it P62 or something like that? I don't even see my thing. Yeah, P82, P82 G must twin Mustang. Uh, the video, or this video probably can show it, but this is sharp. It, this is probably the cleanest build I've ever done. Being that 172 scale, it went together really well, and you know, very little detailing is needed because it's so small, and little bits go a long way in this this scale size. So I really like this this one. I'm not partial to the smaller scale, I like the bigger ones, but that did turn out cool. And my son got me that kit for, uh, for my birthday, so I had to put it together. I want to do a top-notch job for him. He really likes it too. Uh, now the blue, uh, the Glues Brothers has this car I've seen in one of his background videos. It's the Steve Kinzer uh, sprint car, and man, is this thing something! This is a skill level three. It's the first level three I ever did, and man, it went together some sweet. There's a lot of detail in that kit. I enjoyed it. Uh, there's probably two months of playing with this. Uh, the only downside here is on the other side of the wing. It's it's the wing is um, ribbed. And my decal didn't lay flat, but besides that, man, that was cool. And here's my favorite build: is the uh, it's a F uh, F100, uh, 1955 F100, and uh, I was going for the uh, kind of like the Dodge Warlock kind of Ford version, lime green and and gloss black, and man, it's sweet. I love that truck. It's cool. And here's the '70 Dodge Challenger. Uh, a lot of work went into the paint to get that to look right. It, it probably, I probably painted that thing four times before I got it to look right. And I don't know if we can see it here. Uh, probably not, but that was my first experiment with wiring. I went at it after the fact, so the wires don't go anywhere. It's just kind of stogged into the firewall, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, here's my first and probably only helicopter, the Apache. What a pain I thought that was to get to look good. But anyway, she was cool. Here's my first airbrushed A10 Warthog. Uh, the camera, once again, probably won't show it, but there's two different colored grays here, a dark gall gray and then an F F18 gray, sprayed kind of half into it. And it turned out well. This was the this was the last kit that I built upstairs at the kitchen table before I moved down here. So this has some special special into, uh, specialness to me. Uh, flames on the, uh, the cell in the back. Uh, this kit or this plane here was actually slated to go to a model show with me, but the flu struck the whole family, so we never made it down. But yeah, maybe someday we'll take this one. I really like that plane; it was cool. Yeah, here we go. And would you like to do that to your brother too? Jump an airplane, chase his ass around? Oh, you crazy bastard! What are you doing? Anyway, here's a bit of a. It's not even a glue bomb, I'd say. My cousin had this car, and he had broke it all apart and went to actually start the pit and never did do it so there's a box full of parts I got from him and start piecing next to know I had the whole kit and we built this little hot rod it's a it's a cruise Petragon uh, rookie car should have been painted up McDonald's colors but there are no decals so I just went with a gloss red and made a uh, made kind of a gasser class out of it and uh, let's see I probably can't see but I chalked in the it's a lap time of 455 yeah yeah, the old Labonte car. The, once again, the Glues Brothers probably put together probably one or two or three of these. So, I was actually going to take an extra wheel, dab it in black paint, and then kind of dull up the sides and then scratch it a little bit, make it look like there was some rubbing. But, 
this car actually was going to be slated for. I was going to try to duplicate the uh, Dale Earnhardt, Terry Labonte bash and smash into the finish at Bristol there in 94, I think it was. Probably the greatest Bristol race I've ever seen as a kid, so maybe someday when I get a little more energy I'll try that one. Oh, uh, here's that F14. She's all been futured. One coat, all ready to rock and roll on the decal. Maybe I'll try to get that here soon. Get this kit done, get the photos on the wall. But anywho, here's my very first model that I'll get after many years of layoff, getting back to it. Ah, she's missing a prop. The daughter thought it tasted good and chewed it off on me. But anyway, no landing gear on it either. But I let the kids play with this one. It's, they enjoy it, and it kind of teaches them to be a little more delicate with stuff. And You know, if they do break it, oh well, it's plastic, and it can always be glued back together. Atomic Dog, here you go, buddy. That is that P61 Black Widow. That there's about a year's worth of work. I got sick about halfway into this. Uh, came down with uh, with uh, hyperthyroidism. I was asleep for about two months straight. Couldn't quite get out of it, and it took a long time getting pills to figure it out. But this kind of hung in fixtures. I have pictures. Uh, maybe someday I'll put them up on the YouTube fixtures. I built to hold this plane up while I did some work to it. And uh, it took quite a bit of work, but when I got back into it, it did turn out really well. And uh, I don't know if we can see it or not, but uh, Atomic Dog, you definitely would I would say, you know, we, we talk bad about the aftermarket, but I would consider aftermarket glass for your kit. The glass of this is very poorly done, and I, I think it would, you know, it would benefit immensely if you were to buy, say, uh, an aftermarket glass and get it up. Uh, it would turn out really well, because this kit is very nice and you know, it's a shame that the glass in this turned so crappy on me, but, oh well. It is what it is, right? You, you kind of work with it. There's a couple of spare motors that are kicking around. Uh, just a quick little tease. Ooh, Dave Parker. Uh, anyway, guys. A little quick little buzz around the shop. That's where Andrew keeps all his toys up in there. Uh, some pictures and some paints. Nothing really special, right? Ooh, moonlight. Cool. Well, guys, there's a little tip of what I got and what I'm into, so rock and roll.